वेलकम टू माई चैनल कमल सिद्धु अ चैनल फॉर बी बी ए बी कॉम एम बी ए एंड एम कॉम इन दिस लेक्चर सेशन वी विल डिस्कस द कंसेप्ट ऑफ माइक्रो फाइनेंसिंग वी विल डिस्कस इट्स फीचर्स ऑब्जेक्टिव देन वी विल ऑल्सो डिस्कस द वेरियस मॉडल्स ऑफ माइक्रो फाइनेंसिंग एंड हाउ माइक्रो फाइनेंसिंग प्लेज अ इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल इन रिड्यूसिंग द पॉवर्टी सो फॉर इजी एंड सिंपल लेक्चर सेशन डू शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल कमल सिद्धु micro finance is the provision of providing financial services to the low income people and uh, self employed who lack access to banking and other related services so we can define micro financing as a type of banking service provided to the unemployed or the low income individuals or groups who otherwise would have no other access to financial services so here the people can take reasonable small business loans through micro financing and the main features of uh, micro financing are that in this case the borrowers are basically from low income group who do not have a proper access to loans then the amount of loans under micro finances is very small and the tenure of the loan is also short as compared to other loans that we get from uh, the commercial banks then the micro finance do not require any kind of security to avail the loan then micro financing also helps the small entrepreneurs to start their business operations so we can say that micro financing plays a very important role in uh, startups or we can say micro financing also encourages the people to initiate the startup with the latest uh, technology and latest ideas now let's discuss the benefits or the objectives of micro financing micro financing provides basic financial services like loans savings and guidance to the unprivileged people so the main benefit of micro financing is providing access to the funds and these funds are easily available to the needy through micro financing and with financial assistance the young entrepreneurs can start their own business the micro financing in financing institutions also managing manages risk regarding new projects as they provide the required guidance to the clients or the young entrepreneurs who want to start their own business so we can say that micro financing also encourages the savings uh, which help the clients or the individuals to meet the sudden financial problems then micro financing also plays a very important role in women empowerment so loans are given to the needy women who want to start their own business and finally the micro financing also help in providing employment opportunities to the unemployed people which further empowers uh, or we can say which further improves their standard of living so we can conclude that micro financing plays a very important role in the overall development of the society and it contributes towards the economic development of the nation there are different types of models which are used in micro financing depending upon the need of financing or the amount to be financed the first type is the individual model in which the loan is directly provided to the borrower there is no need of any group or association in this case then second is the association model where the target people from form a group or a association through which various micro financing activities are carried out so here the loan is given to the group or the association then is the bank guarantee model so here a guarantee is required to obtain any kind of loan from the financial institution or the bank the bank guarantee may be arranged through any donors or the government agency or by using the members savings the next is the community banking model so in in, in this case the whole community is a one unit so the members of the community join together the pool capital for lending to its members then is the ngo model so here the ngo acts as an intermediary in the micro financing uh, this model plays a very important role in social development uh, activities the ngos assist in forming a we can say a, they form a link between the borrower and the lender institutions so this model is known as the ngo model 
The next is the uh, rotating savings and credit association model where a group of people or the individuals come together to make contribution to form a common fund which can be given to its members in a each cycle and at the end of that cycle or a month the total fund is collected and it is given to some another member so this is also known as this fund is also known as the chit funds then last type of model is the grameen bank model uh, which is based on the uh, group of five prospective borrowers this model was basically developed in bangladesh so in this case two of these five people are granted loans and if these two people uh, pay the granted loans in a given time period pay back the granted loan in a given time period then the other three are uh, granted the loans so in this uh, case we can say that the peer pressure or the pressure from other three enables the smooth functioning of the system so these are the main models which are associated with microfinancing process or we can say uh, through by following any kind of uh, these models the banks or the financial institutions can give loans to the clients so far in this lecture session we have discussed the features of microfinancing then the objectives or the benefits and various models of microfinancing now let's discuss the challenges which are faced by this uh, microfinancing sector particularly in india the biggest challenge is the large population base so due to large population the microfinancing is not available is not able to serve the whole population or the whole country most of the uh, people are still uncovered under this scheme the lenders also charge high rate of interest from the borrowers which is also biggest challenge of uh, this sector then there is over dependence on uh, commercial banks for uh, providing the funding to the borrowers and here we can say that nearly 80% of the fund uh, required requirements are met through the commercial banks and the banks also charge high rate of interest then the awareness regarding various financial services offered by micro financing institutions is also less people are not fully aware regarding the various schemes uh, through which micro financing can be availed then in india majority of the micro financing in institutions doesn't know which uh, type of micro financing model to follow which also hampers the working of uh, micro financing institutions then the regulatory and the legal norms are also complex which slows down the growth of microfinancing sectors so we can say that if the microfinancing sector or the institutions has to flourish then they have to overcome these challenges in the end we can conclude that microfinancing plays a very important role in reducing the poverty the microfinancing ensures that low income borrowers get easy access to the loans through microfinancing and the microfinancing also plays an important role in uplifting the condition of women in the society the women can earn their li uh, livelihoods by getting financial help through micro and small kind of uh, loans which the microfinancing institutions provide then it also helps the people in enhancing their financial position by providing them financial independence so all these things lead to improvement of standard of living of especially the low income groups which reduces the level of poverty in the country so we can say that micro financing is very important for especially for the social and economic development of the nation so if the country has to get rid of the problem of poverty then it has to encourage the microfinancing sector so this is all in today's lecture session in which we discussed the concept of microfinancing thank you